Good morning, everyone. Uh, I look a little different today because my lips started swelling up. Yesterday, my bottom lip swelled up a bunch. Today, it's my upper lip. Well, it was more swollen this morning when I woke up at like 5 a.m. My hives have been pretty bad. You can see them there on my arms. They're all over, and it's really itchy today. Not good. So I called my doctor. I think I'm gonna get put back onto the Monolucast. Who is it? Is that neighbor? honking their horn. Anyway, I think I'm getting put back on the Monolu cast, which does give me nightmares, but it does seem to be, every time I try and get off of it, my, my lips do swell. So I think there might be a connection there. I'm waiting to hear back from my doctor. It's the weekend. So I had to call the after hours hotline for the doctor. And now I'm waiting for a call back. But I figured, you know, I haven't shown any of this kind of swelling before. I figured I'd show you. This is kind of some of the stuff that we've been dealing with on the daily. But other than that, I feel okay. Like I'm not, I don't have any labored breathing, nothing obstructing. I can still eat, I can still drink. Everything's fine. But I'm gonna look a little different today for at least the first part of the vlog. Hopefully it wears off. Yesterday, the lower lip wore off as the day went along. So we'll see. Oh. Doctor's calling. Hello? You want a strawberry? No. That's a big strawberry. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of strawberries, local strawberries from a fruit stand. You like the strawberries? Bailey's over here learning a language with a baby. I'm learning Ukrainian. Ukrainian? That's cool. Where are you learning that? Duolingo. Duolingo has Ukrainian? Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. You want more? Yeah. You want more strawberry? Yeah. Strawberry? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. In case you're wondering, he's drinking a passion fruit tea with no sweetener. Do you like your tea? Look, I'm noticing that your OT container is getting pretty full these days. You got a lot of OT toys. Yeah. For your occupational therapy. Should we show everybody all the OT toys? Yeah. Okay, when you're all done with this strawberry, we'll clean up and we'll show them the fun things that you have in your OT box. Sound good? Okay. Duncan loves Duolingo too. What have you been learning in Duolingo? French. Oh, French? Yeah. What have you learned in French? Uh, I've learned um, two uh, lessons uh, of, I think all, uh, but uh, not all. Uh, I get um, uh, one left to do too. You, you can vlog. Are you saying I want to vlog? Okay, you get a turn, but it's Duncan's turn right now. Can you tell me what words you know in French? Um, ah, very uh, good. Any other words? Adios. Oh, uh, well, I think that's Spanish. Okay. Amigos. I think, have you been learning Spanish, maybe? Because that's Spanish. It's very good Spanish. I just think maybe maybe you have it said to Spanish, not French. French. Uh huh. That's that's a French word. I don't know any. I don't know any others. All right. Well, that's pretty good. All right. It's your turn. You've been waiting. This is your vlogging moment. What would you like to say, Luke? Good. Good? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, good. Want oh more strawberries? Yeah. You want to show us some strawberries? Yeah! Yeah? Okay. Oh, buddy. Strawberries. Oh, oh, look at that. How's that strawberry? Mm. Looks kind of like an apple. It's so big, huh? Yeah. Wow, good strawberry. Oh no! Oh no, you have a mess! Yeah. Do you want a napkin? Yeah. Okay, you gonna clean up your mess? Mm -mm. Good. 
That is gonna give you a little paper towel so you don't stain the cloth. Here you go. Clean up. You wanna sing? Clean up, clean up. Everybody, everywhere. Clean up, clean up. Everybody. Yeah! Yeah! So one thing I have been wanting to mention that I have noticed since relocating a portion of our things to this house <laughs> is that, okay, this is actually like, it's kind of complicated to explain, but I have been trying very hard to declutter at um, this last like six months or so, okay? We've been doing tons of decluttering and I feel like I've learned now that we have kind of only our essentials, maybe a little extra, okay, but pretty bare minimum, like a decluttering goal. There's tons of stuff left at our other house, right? There's just tons of stuff still there. And we only brought what we have here. And it is the same amount of cleanup and the same amount of mess. And I thought like if we got to this lower level of stuff that it would be a lot simpler. And I'm glad we've decluttered what we have decluttered. Like I do think we've gotten to a point where we just have this rhythm with cleaning and everything. But I think the other side of it is that we have six children in our home at all times and there's just going to be mess. It feels kind of like we're always cleaning. We always have a massive like end of the day cleaning and then throughout the day we're doing stuff. There's laundry and dishes always and we're just always cleaning and things are always messy <laughs> and we are relatively like decluttered. Like we have kind of enough right now and there's still a lot to take care of every day and I think that's just life so I'm glad I bring this up not to like dis decluttering because I think decluttering is great I like feel like it's a really important thing for me to have experienced it can like alleviate guilt and not that I have a lot because I know we're working our tushies off all day long but maybe like facing the idea of inadequacy and some guilt and just like facing that and going like, oh, we, we really are doing a great job. We just have a lot of people that uh, are small and, and some of them have like <laughs> more contribution to the mess than to the cleaning aspect of it. And that's, that's fine. That's like the stages that they're in and that we're in. I just really want to point that out because <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody else out there struggling with like looking around going like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've done so much. I, I, I guess I'll keep decluttering or I'll keep pushing ourselves to like get more whatever. And maybe you're enough and you just have a lot to deal with. And maybe that's just the stage of life you're in because I think that's that's where we are. <laughs> so I, I am going to keep decluttering as much as we can, but I also feel like I know that it's not ultimately the one answer. It's a piece that helps. We also have a lot of kids, <laughs> a lot of stuff, and we're, do, we're doing our best. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there because it's, it's been like, it's been simmering in my brain a lot. Those are some cool pockets. Yeah, yeah you got some cool pockets. You yeah. want to show your toys? I do. Yeah, let's go show your toys. Yeah. So this is Luke's therapy bucket, and it's full of stuff that over the past year and a half, two years, how long have we been filling this thing up? Do you um, know? Well, it shifts depending on his, yeah. his different needs, but I mean, he's two and a half, and he's been in OT since he was about six months old, I think. For like two years, we've been putting stuff in this bucket. We'll do a session. You want those? Okay, let's show him those right now. This is a new thing that he's been working on. Yeah, they're stickers. So we'll put different stickers on his fingers. So here's a red one. Can you say red? Right. So we'll put a red one on this finger. And this is green. Can you say green? Green. We'll put green on this finger. And we ask him to touch his thumb to the red one. Can you touch your thumb to the red one? Like that. Oh, just like this. Look. Thumb. Pinch. Pinch, pinch, good. It's supposed to help him learn how to do uh, different dexterity things with his fingers. Should we do something else now? Yeah. Here's another thing he's been working on. He's been learning to close his mouth around something and create uh, pressure. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Good, good. <laughs> so he's been working on that with this. You want to do the ball one? 
So this toy works like this. There's a little ball in a basket and you blow it. Whoa! You wanna try it? Yeah! Okay. Go for it. Whoa! Whoa! You wanna do it? Whoa! When I was ordering the things for him to blow through, this was also available, but it didn't show up until later, so he's actually not even tried this yet. You wanna try it? Yeah! Okay. You gotta blow really hard. Ooh, that one might be more of a challenge. Do you want to hear what it's gonna sound like? <laughs> I can't even do it. I can do it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think we gotta get it get it loosened up here a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Can, I can you make it go? Make it go. No? Okay, you try. Oh, you gotta wipe off all the spittles. Good plan. Oh! Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, these are little puzzles? You see the keys? Keys, can you put the keys in the puzzle? Oh, we've got lots of puzzles. There's a cup and a coat and socks. You want socks? Oh, what is this? What is that? Spoon. Ball, yeah. Airplane, yeah. So these are just little puzzles that he, uh, he can use in his therapy. These are stacking cups and nesting cups. So they can nest like this or we can stack them on top of each other. You want to stack that one on top? Like that. Good. Can you take it off? Can you put it in? Thank you. This is a puzzle he's had for a long time. This was from his panda crate from KiwiCo. Uh, actually, a lot of the stuff in here is from that. We found that a lot of them were really, really good for his dexterity. There were games like this that we could use as a reward for going across like an obstacle course. Like we give him this piece and then put the puzzle at the other end of the obstacle course. And in physical therapy, are you missing one? We'll look for it, we'll find it, okay? You wanna find it? We'll find yeah. it. This video is not sponsored by KiwiCo, but we have done work with them in the past. So we have gotten some free product from them, but I think a lot of the stuff in here, we actually, we subscribe to it ourselves. So um, it's kind of a mix of stuff that we got. What? Oh, you threw your ball. Can you go get it and bring it back over here? This isn't a sponsored post, but we have done stuff with them in the past. This is a, a ball game that you can play where, with your friends where you have this instead of a glove and the ball sticks to it. But this is really good for two things that Luke does. One is grabbing and using those muscles in his fingers to pull things apart. Arr, oh, you're so strong. Get it off of there. You can do it. Arr, it's so strong. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you're gonna roll it off. Good. Oh. You gonna throw it on? Stick it. Yeah, nice. The other thing that it's good for is sometimes he curls his fingers in and so by putting his hand in this and having him like do crawling and stuff like that, it helps him open up his hand. Oh, you want to put your hand in? Very nice. You want me to make it a little tighter? Okay, you want to catch the ball? You want me to throw the ball to you? No. You want to throw the ball to daddy? Here you go. Can you throw the ball on? Oh. <laughs> good catch, daddy. It's getting a little loud in the house so we're outside now. It's a nice day. Right? We should be outside, right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. You want to show him your bees? This usually has more bees in it, but it really helps him with his pincher grass. Yeah, you want to get a bee out and show him a bee? Ooh, a yellow bee. Oh, this is yeah. Ooh, what color is that one? Red. Red, yeah. This is a cool little puzzle. You going to open the drawer? What's inside? Discs. What color are those? Blue. You say blue? Blue. Blue. Okay, we're gonna take them out and close it up. And there's a little slot in the top. I want you to put the discs in the slot. Can you put them in? Good job. Let's do it with this hand. Good job. Another one? There you go. Whoa. And last one? Uh oh, I dropped it. Uh oh. No problem. Awesome. This is a fun toy. You want your hammer? Get your hammer out. Ooh, nice. Nice. And I've shown this before, but I'm pretty excited about it. 
Oh, did you bang your finger? Can I kiss it? Mm. Don't kiss the hammer, what are you doing? I've shown this before, but I'm pretty proud of it. I drilled a hole in this and put a washer at the end of this and a magnet at the bottom of this. So this goes in here and stays in there until he's ready to play with it again. You gonna take it out? There you go. You gonna hammer these, these ones? Ooh, interesting technique. Here, let's fix your hammer hold. There you go. Now do it. Ooh, nice, nice work. Excellent, excellent. Good job. I think this is another one. Yeah, this is another one from the Panda Crate. And it has these discs that have pictures on it and an emotion on the back. Is she happy? Happy, can you put her in there? Yay, happy! We have some nesting dolls. <laughs> These are very important. They also help him with like grasp, grasping stuff, size and proportion, putting things in, taking things out. Can you put it back in? We'll show him another toy. Yeah. Okay, put it back in. Put it, put Minnie Mouse in. Good, you wanna put the lid on? Good job. This has been a favorite of his for a long time. It's carrots and each carrot is a different size and it only fits in, oh, the right size hole. Did you eat that carrot? Yeah. Oh, don't. Mmm, <laughs> is it yummy? Good vitamins? Oh, oh, a worm? You found a worm? Is there a bunny? And this is another thing where in physical therapy, we'd set up an obstacle course, give him a carrot, and he'd go across the obstacle course to put it into one of these things. Should we show him something else? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. This is an older slot thing that we, we've been using. Um, it's a lot easier than the other one with the drawer, but he's had it for forever, so he really likes it. You want to do more? I think we've got another disc. Here's a black one. Can you say black? Bye. Do you want to put it in the top or in the side? Up that. That's the side, yeah. Can you get one out? And getting one out is a little challenging on this too. It sort of help, helps him figure out like how to maneuver things and use his fingers and do dexterous activities. Good job. Ooh. Play-doh or clay. Very important for occupational therapy. He's learning to roll, to smash, to squish. We'll often do this activity where I'll hide something inside of the Play-Doh, and then it's his job to peel all the Play-Doh off of the toy. Can you get that out of there? Can you get the triangle out? And that really helps him also with problem solving, using those uh, finger muscles, and using both hands to achieve something. Good job. Okay. You got it. What color is that? Red. Red, yeah. Can you squish it in? Squish it in there. Squish, squish. Good job. Here is a clothespin. And a lot of the things in this box are like common items that, oh, here you go. Like the party, like horns and stuff like that. They're common items, but we didn't have them. Like we don't hang up our clothes to dry. So having these around the house, we didn't have them. So we had to special order them and we ended up with like a hundred of them. So these are really good for, for his fingers, learning how to, um, how to squeeze these. Ah, good, good taking them apart. And we have this dowel. We'll load the dowel up with these and he has to take them off. Can you take one off? Good. You're gonna put it back on. You gotta squeeze it, remember? Squeeze it to open it. Open and put it on. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Good job. You did it. Yay, Luke. Another thing we use with Luke from time to time if he's in a bad mood is we'll bring a car out. Cars, cars tend to cheer Luke up. You got a car? Oh yeah, good job. Oh, making a left hand turn. So that's most of the stuff that's in Luke's thing right now. He has other toys that aren't in here, but he loves the stuff that's in the... <laughs> he loves these toys, 
So he's always taking them out and playing with them somewhere else. And we want that to be a thing for him. Like we want him to want to do his physical therapy, his occupational therapy, his speech therapy, his early intervention. Oh, I didn't show that one. Good thinking, Luke. Luke just found this one in here. Yeah. Yeah, what are these? Are these beads? Beads. Beads, yeah. So here, we'll take them apart. There you go. Here's your needle. Here you go. This is another really good problem solving and two-handed activity. You just gotta figure out to push it in on one side and pull it through on the other side. Yay! Almost, almost there. Whoops. Okay, now hold on to the needle. Yeah, we'll get the next one. This one's not done yet. You gotta hold on to this side and then you gotta pull. There you go, there you go. Whoa. You wanna do the cookie? <laughs> okay, pull it through, pull it through. Oh, you're pushing it. You gotta pull it. Pull. Pull. There you go. <laughs> you did it again. Oh, no! Yeah, was that fun? Oh, fun! That was fun. So, yeah, we're always adding or retiring toys from this, depending on what we're working on at the time. It helps us stay organized. It helps make it like a special toy. He has lots of other toys, but these toys are like special when we are working on his therapy stuff. And he's doing really well in his in his therapies. He, he does them mostly on Zoom, but we're starting to do a little bit more in person with masks on. And Luke's very engaged, even on the Zoom calls, he's very engaged with the therapist, which is really, really good. We're really thankful for that. And for those of you who haven't been following uh, our journey with Luke, Luke has a 3Q29 micro deletion. He was born with it. It, it poses a couple of additional challenges for him but um, it got diagnosed super early. So we got connected with a bunch of therapists and specialists and we're helping him out as much as we can. He's just on a different timeline with development than some of our other kids. And it's, I don't know, just knowing it and, and being able to work with it has been really, really helpful. And then hearing other people's journeys has been helpful to us. And that's why we, we put it out there for you guys as well. So anyway, oh. We got a bicycle. It's Teddy's bedtime, and he's in his little sleep suit here. You want to show him your teeth? I want to talk about your teeth. Maybe if I rub his head, he'll smile real big. You gonna smile? Where's your smile? Oh, gonna touch the lens. Gonna touch the lens. Look, it's Mama. Can I see your teeth? Can you see your teeth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like that camera? Oh. <laughs> Look at those teeth. And then he's got some upper teeth too. Oh, uh, oh. You want to show me teeth? really quick? Hey. Yeah, those are coming in too. Look at those teeth. You got teeth. Teddy got his first top tooth. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to poke you. Um, he got his first top tooth yesterday. It just busted through. <laughs> and it was rough. It oh. was rough. But you got through it. You got their tooth out. Yeah, you got it out. And the other one, we're kind of, we're like, is it through? We can't tell. It's very close. It looks like, like you can see it almost through and Christopher thought he felt it, but then we were like, oh wait, I don't know. So we're figuring it out, huh buddy? So you wanna eat everything now? You wanna eat everything? Say night night. Can you say night night?